Hey guys! Last time we learned that although most classical guitarists today play the guitar with nails on their plucking hand, uh, that wasn't always the case. And so I cut off my nails. There's still no nail. In fact, I even <laughs> now I even don't have a thumbnail. And so I'm really committed <laughs> to the whole idea of playing with flesh, and that's been really interesting. But today we're going to go a bit deeper, and we're going to put on historical strings. And that means gut strings. So, I have ordered them, my gut strings have arrived, uh, we're going to put these on, and then we're going to do some sound comparisons with synthetic strings and gut strings, and we're going to see which sounds better. So here is playing the guitar with gut strings. So for most of history, gut strings were the most common type of string used by classical guitarists, violinists, violists, uh, and many more instrumentalists. They were made from the dried intestines of animals, like sheep, and originally on guitars they were used for the strings and the frets. So for baroque guitars and lutes even, um, they didn't have metal frets. They would tie the, the same material strings, the gut, around and that's how they got frets. The metal fretting didn't come around until the early 19th century, actually. But you know, my main reason for making this video is that which string material you use has a huge impact on how your instrument sounds. You can make a really good instrument sound terrible with bad strings. And since most classical guitarists, for most of history, used gut strings, and that's all my favorite composers, you know, Sor, Targa, Meritz, Giuliani, all of them thought of the guitar, heard the guitar with gut strings. And so I thought, I really want to know what that sounds like. <laughs> so let's find out. Bear with me here as I change the strings. All right, we are all strung up with gut strings. Uh, this is super exciting. Um, I have made some recordings before changing the strings with the strings that were already on here. Those were synthetic strings made by a company called Aquila. They were uh, Nile Gut, which is basically a synthetic version of gut. Let's hear those plucked open, followed by the real deal, the gut strings. All right, now we'll dive into some pieces. This is Francisco Tarraga's Capriccio Arabe. So I have to say that right away, I'm like already so impressed with the gut strings. I've never heard this instrument sound so good. Um, this is a Torres replica by Sayers Guitars, uh, which is a, a Torres is a guitar that, that Francisco Targa himself uh, would have been familiar with and would have owned one. And man, this instrument has never sounded this good. So let's hear another piece by Targa. Uh, let's try Adelita.
One of the things I'm noticing is that the gut strings have a texture to them. They, they have some friction. Uh, so that means that I can really grab the string and feel like I'm caressing the sound out of it. Uh, in comparison, the synthetic strings are super slippery um, and it's harder to get a grip on it, I think. Also, I'm having the same realization I did when I changed my Fiorbo to gut strings, which is that the synthetic strings in comparison to these sound a bit plasticky and a bit thin, whereas the gut strings just have this resonance, this warmth to it, which I, I'm just totally loving since I've never felt that on classical guitar. And um, the combination of flesh and gut strings uh, is just really, really nice. But let's hear another sound comparison. Uh, this is a piece by the Spanish composer Fernando Sor, uh, who is a No Nails player, uh, and definitely would have been playing on gut strings. Uh, this is his variations on a theme by Mozart. This is one of the later variations. When I first put the gut strings on and tried to play that, I was blown away. It's so much easier <laughs> with gut strings. Maybe it's the, the string tension, maybe it's the fact that I can, uh, there's a bit of grip on the string because the friction, but like, I found it so easy the second I had the gut strings on. All right, we're just gonna do one more sound comparison. And this one was particularly interesting because one of my concerns about putting gut strings on a classical guitar was I thought I was gonna lose a lot of sustain. Uh, sustain is just, you know, the length of a note. How long does it, does it ring, right? Uh, and when I put gut strings on my Fiorbo, I found, especially in the basses, uh, the sound really kind of cut off a lot faster than with synthetic strings. And actually with a Fiorbo, that works in its favor because you don't want the notes to overring. However, on a classical guitar, you do want sustain. Um, so I thought a good revealing piece to hear the difference between synthetic and gut strings uh, would be the prelude to La Cathedral by Barrios. And to my surprise, the gut strings don't sound like they have less sustain to me. And in fact, the tone color is really uh, beautiful up top. And I much prefer it to the synthetic strings. So I really have to say that I think I am a gut string convert through and through. Uh, at first I thought it was just for my early plucked instruments, but man, like the resonance, the clarity, the grip on the strings, uh, I'm sort of just blown away by all the aspects. Of course, it's not all positive. <laughs> um, in terms of sound, I think gut strings win, right? The timbre's better, the feel is better. However, they are really expensive. Uh, that's the first problem. Uh, another problem is they go out of tune really quickly uh, and they don't stabilize, 
With synthetic strings, the first you know week or two even, uh, the strings could be going flat a lot, but then they'll eventually they'll stabilize. Gut strings, they're really sensitive to humidity and you know, you open a window and the strings go oh, and then you turn on the AC and they go oh, and so they go up and down, up and down, and you just have to live with more tuning. But since on a classical guitar, it's only really three strings that are pure gut and the other ones that are wound are much more stable, um, I think it's fine. So, so far, they are more expensive. That's definitely a con. And you're gonna to have to do a bit more tuning, but it's not that big of a deal. The real concern, I think, comes in with nails. Um, nails chew up the gut. Uh, they put little indents in them. And I w when I was playing with nails on Fiorbo, uh, on my gut strings, I noticed that after a few weeks, there'd be little spots where I sort of destroyed the string. It's a bit of a mystery to me because, you know, players like Aguado uh, and a lot of some other 19th century guitarists definitely played with nails uh, and they use gut strings. So maybe they just, they just managed. So if you play with nails, I do think gut strings still sound better, but you might have to go through strings a little bit more often. All right guys, I hope you had fun hearing the difference between synthetic and gut strings. I had a great time and I think I just love these strings and I'm gonna be playing a lot over the next few days just enjoying the the new sound of my instrument. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do, it really helps. Uh, also, if you feel like supporting my channel, if you like my videos and wanna help me make more of them, you can directly do that uh, by becoming a patron on Patreon. And if you do so, you also will receive you know, my CDs, uh, MP3 downloads, exclusive guitar tips, uh, and more behind the scenes content. So please check that out, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.